this is the Matador, mine protected vehicle to standing level three. It means eight kilograms uh, landmine either underneath the hull or underneath the, the wheel. Um, the speciality of this design is that the con uh, entire fuselage is made up of a single monocoque, welded monocoque. Uh, there's no uh, loose panels that can uh, fly off and the other key feature is that the seats for the occupants are suspended from the roof so that the energy gets deflected sideways and out, it doesn't go through the knees. And then this is the other variant that uh, is in operation with the Ministry of Defence. It's the Marauder. It's slightly smaller. It also has two doors on the side for the commander and the, the driver to, to exit. But the basic design is similar. Again, a welded monocoque, a uh, very simple drivetrain, uh, uh, commercially available, which means that it's uh, very easy uh, to, to support. Um, and with the same space armor design, that gives the same levels of ballistic uh, protection. And then Paramount is very proud uh, to release at uh, ADEX 2016 our uh, newest uh, in the mine protected vehicles, which is the Mbombi MZ1. It's a 6x6 vehicle. Um, it has a similar design to the Marauder and the Matador in that it also has the space armor. But the unique feature of this vehicle is that instead of having a V, which would give it a very high profile, this has a completely flat fall. It's a, it's a unique design in mine uh, protection and it gives protection against landmines 10 kilograms underneath the hull, uh, 8 kilograms underneath each of the wheels, which is uh, quite astounding performance. We see the Mbombe as the logical next step uh, to replace the old Soviet vehicles like the BTR, which just don't give anywhere near the same levels of protection. Roman Shimanov, the CEO of ASKAN, joint venture, Canadian-Azerbaijani joint venture. Um, the company, company's aim is to start producing those armored vehicles here in Azerbaijan. Uh, we have uh, researched the market and we came up with the decision to go into, the, into this specific market since um, the geopolitical and the economical uh, benefits that Azerbaijan has. And ADEX is an amazing and probably the ultimate platform to present our brand new vehicle, Ascan APC. All of the materials as well as the assembly are certified and meets all of the international standards. Uh, we have dual uh, layer ballistic here with the composite material inside those two layers. Uh, this uh, vehicle is equipped with the central tire inflation system. Um, this vehicle is a multi-purpose vehicle that can be customized to different purposes, such as uh, armored personal carrier, uh, medical evacuation unit, as well as common control unit. This multi-purpose APC that we presented here, it's a, a vehicle that uh, equipped with the automatic uh, gun turret. Basically, the uh, purpose of this turret is to detect the source of the fire and automatically or manually to fire back. Uh, we also have a solution for chemical attack protection that uh, we installed in this vehicle. And this uh, vehicle uh, can be used by law enforcement agencies as well as uh, patrol guards and uh, many other uh, forces as well. We also have a radar system here on this vehicle. This radar allows to its passengers as well as to common control to monitor and control the area of 20 kilometers of radius by uh, searching in different frequencies to find the moving and uh, idle objects, as well as to determine which area is safer to its passenger. I'll introduce you to the Pitbull, the smartest light weapon station in the world. Okay, it weighs only 60 kilos, uh, can be fitted on any vehicle using only four bolts. 
all the electronics is inside the pitbull, meaning you don't need any other electronics fitted inside the car or outside. It can also be mounted on poles, like wooden poles, because it's very, very light. On the left, you see the optical uh, system. The box on the top is an optical fire source detector. If anyone shoots at you, the uh, station moves in direction and aiming at the target in less than two seconds. This is the Dogo. It's the first and only compact robot in the market with attacking capabilities. Okay, inside there is a harness Glock 26 pistol that you can actually act in case of uh, occasion. On the side we have two antennas that have three cameras each antenna that give you 360 degrees view and, teach you, and give you a full situa situational awareness. Okay? Anytime, any case, you see 360 degrees. The Dogo came with our Ranger, a remote control unit based on Panasonic Toughpad and a unique jacket that we developed with two encrypted communication that help you to communicate with the Dogo. And the Dogo is easy as playing a video game. Let's say that we have a target, we press on the target, the Dogo automatically goes to the target, we open the safety, press these two buttons, and that's it. The shot have, the shot have been made. We are the company which is called Scientific Production uh, Limited Liability Company and you are welcome to see our new development all around triaxical radar station and uh, it is a pulse Doppler solid state radar and it is for automatic detection coordinates and parameters of air targets motion tracking and measuring. Uh, target detection range is about uh, 100 kilometers. Radar uh, provides detection, three coordinates and target ground speed measuring. And also provides radar data output to integrated facilities. Bearing measurement to jamming station and combat performance record.